Welcome to Masai Mara University Talk Show and this is our first episode and your host Christopher Diambo and my co-host is Cecilia Nyambura and today with us we have our guest who will be helping us exhaust on the topic that we have today. Welcome. Next to me is I'm Sophia Kabeu, a first year from Masai Mara University and today I'll be your guest. I'm Ken Wadirango. Ken Wadirango is a political journalist, a second year student who does Kiswahili journalism. I'm Stacey Kimani, a fourth year student pursuing communications and PR. I'm Ibrahim Mokoite, a second year student pursuing Kiswahili and journalism. I'm Sungu Salfa, a second year student pursuing BA Kiswahili and journalism. Okay, this is Nick Mangi, pursuing a BA Kiswahili second year. Our topic today will be the challenges that are facing our university students. And maybe I briefly explain on why we chose to, talk, to choose on the topic. It was because currently most of the university students are facing a lot of challenges, which maybe they go and unnoticed and unattended to. And that's why we chose on this panel. Maybe we can highlight on some of the major issues, major challenges that are facing our university students. So maybe we go straight to the point, and maybe they can. Our guest today can introduce what they have for us today. Okay, to start with, eh, this, uh, most of the challenges in the universities, uh, as you have seen, uh, they, are, they go unnoticed. And that's why in recent times we have had a student uh, committing suicide. But uh, I hope with this will be a, a first thing to explain and explain the challenges are to be addressed next by everyone here and you. At the last of the show, at the, at the competition, you will come with the solutions and how to deal with them. Thank you. So maybe we start with Sophia. What's your take on the challenges that are facing our university students? What do you think is maybe unnoticed and attended to on what we are facing as university students? Thank you. Uh, okay. To kiangalia challenges when you in face, must today are unique ziko tu nyingi but mostly nyingi zinaletwa na peer pressure kila ambacho tunaita shinikizo la rika so tunaona kwamba tuki tukishafika shuleni ile tukishaletwa shule tunakuwa waadilifu tunakuwa watu wenye ambao tuko na tabia tofauti na zile ambazo tutazipata hapa chuoni lakini sasa tu, wale marafiki ambao tutajichagulia yale makundi ambao tutakuwa tukitembea nayo baadaye yanatuathiri na ndio ambao yanaleta zile challenges hata zaidi katika maisha yetu so Tunakuta kwamba maybe I came to the university I'm very innocent but then nakuja napata mabeshte wenye wanaenda tunaita dundai siku like every friday weekends so napata huko nikishaenda dundai nime nimefanya vitu zote zenye watu wanafanya huko then najikuta in a situation that like let's say sasa I'm in a relationship na huyu mtu nimemtoa Dunda. Dunda. Nimemtua Dunda. So I don't know this person from the start. Nimemkuta tu Dunda. Nimtu, maybe nimtua maisha kilewa, mefanya vitu kwa zake mingi. Then sasa, okay, now we are in a relationship. Then, ukiangalia hizi kese zanyo zimetokea kwa, hizi suicidal cases, zina, zina nikuta sasa. Ju sasa, I don't know this person. Ndo tume meet, nimepata Dunda. Tume kwa tuki cushion, hivo. Then kumbe umtu amekuwa na background relationships zake zenye anafanya huku huku sielewi then kuja ku find out mimi bila kufikiria kwamba mtu nimemtoa dunda obviously ako na some habits zenye mimi sijui unakuja kupata nimejinyonga not because ati okay imeni hard sana but it's because si kujipanga si kutaka kujua huyo mtu ni nani nimemtoa wapi background yake ni gani so you see peer pressure in affect sana wasi wa uni so to maybe to comment on that na is asema before wase wa university waji waji yake kwa relationships kwanza tuangali ni nani huyo tuna date ni nani huyo tuna 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 date so yeah let us study our partners na peer pressure pia isi yani isi to affect sana sisi ni wase wakubwa tume tumetoka high school tumekaa huko for 4 years we've been advised so much then ukisha kuja juu na unasikia okay huyu ameenda uni so lazima kuna vitu atarudi home nazo so out of that pressure unasikia okay i must do something in university so that nikienda back home and notice your difference but they, so, uh, yeah, let me interrupt you a bit yeah, yeah. Uh, when you are saying that uh, you are supposed to be keen uh, when when getting into a relationship eh? 
most of the times even you don't uh, fall into uh, falling in love with someone eh? unajikutanga tu umekufia mtu mara mo mara mo hata ujui oh, oh over sunday una kumbe ukichagundua baadaye unakuta oh, it's too late for you so sijui in fact, I, think, in fact, I think I think to your kid to do in fact, in fact <laughs> uh, students when you are going universities mm. they are those students when you are going I think 18 years to 20 years and you do it this this age is easy it is when you are they are too young mm. to make an informed decision so I think at the universities what is set up they are supposed to set up counseling centers when they maybe they can counsel their students because you can't have a good time and now, by the way, I can't break you up. Kwanza ni fast and love. Kwanza ni fast yeah. love, Zaza. Kwanza ni fast love. Hapo Zaza ndipo una mkanga tuna kiatu. Siko kwa mbu. Hapo eki. Kuongezeka kinwa ndirangu wa mesema kuhusu counseling. Mm -hmm. Unakuta ene wanafunzi wengu wa kifika university wanakuwa neglected. Ya. Yeah. Unakuta kama wazazi wanacha kwa bear more. Hidha wa ene wanasi mtu watoto mm -hmm. ni watu wakubwa. Mm -hmm. Hata hapa university unakuta hakuna ile motivational speaking. Kama pala high school kuna kuta. Every Friday or every month unakuta kuna motivational speaker anakuja anaongelea kuhusu mambo na relationship ya yeah, na guide hivyo. Uh, maybe if I may ask. Mm -hmm. Now uh, apart from the university setting up uh, this guide, 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 guidance and counseling uh, sessions. Department. Do you think the, our parents or the parents and uh, maybe our friends can help us in any way? True. Yes they do. Because personally, I think for us, when it comes to relationships, as in what we tend to miss out is dealing with the feelings that we get. As in what we tend to do is suppress the feelings instead of dealing with them. And that's what leads to depression in the first place. Because if you do not deal with the feelings of you getting heartbroken and dealing with them in the appropriate way, as in, because most people, as in, leo ni ta, ni utakuja, labda wea kuja ni zunze roho leo, ni tenda, ni kunywe, ni fanyi nini nini, alafu kesha ni amke, I'm like, yeah, me, I'm good, I'll move on, ni anza kusama nini nini, but in real sense, I haven't dealt with the feelings. Second, ni, and then I enter the next, the full range relationship, I enter, to, I enter with all my baggage, I end up with everything, and I still haven't dealt with my issues. Ni takuja ni nge, nazo in that same relationship, continue doing the same mistakes, then it still continues, it becomes a cycle. And that's why I think these days we tend to find people who tend to enter depression without you even knowing. And before you get to realize it, you don't actually, you come and start, as, that's when you start secluding yourself. As in you don't seek advice, you don't seek services that are there. Because actually in school there is a guidance and counseling services. But if you look at the services that most people don't even reach out to them, and it's very important because mind you we're in an age where if we don't talk out about what we're going through, then trust you me, the more you bottle it in, the more you'll come and explode one day, and it's not healthy. I think to add that, uh, about parents, I think uh, Africans have type of parents. Parents who don't want to open up. But what I could be a mama, yeah, they want to feature. The moment you enter university, they start fearing you. Eh? They don't want to tell you boyfriend wako ni nani, girlfriend wako ni nani. So I think that's what I've been meeting us. And uh, it's again because Abu, we are going to be parents very soon. Mm -hmm. So let us <laughs> try to be good parents. <laughs> soon actually. <laughs> soon soon. Kwa kuongezea hapo pia kwa wazazi, wazazi wa wana tukingia katika vyo viku. Wazazi wa wanaona kwa mba si tumekua watu wakubwa, tuneza solve issues zetu, mm -hmm. tuneza nini kuwa, tuneza ji, 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 dissolve hizo issues zetu peke yetu hata pia tena nini hapo wazazi wana assume tena watoto pia kama sisi <coughs> tunajiona pia si ni grown up atake kushare na with our parents our troubles eh, unaona hivyo and then tuna kuna issue of the friends unaweza kuwa na one of your friends that you trust and then you talk to him or her about your problem and it should be solved ni wakati mwingine Nipe na fasi kidogo Chris niongeze ni hapo. Wakati mwingine naoma naona tusiamu wazazi. Mm -hmm. Shinda si, si hiko si tuna sisi. Wakati mwingine yani wakati unapata heartbreak. Uh, like Stacy Vienya amesema hautaki kufunguka. Hautaki kufunguka kabisa. Uko na rafiki lakini hutaki kumwambia what is it new hapa eh? mm -hmm. Unaona wakati mwingine sasa when you get the first break eh? Especially as we talk about high school, as a how many mamigi, as as we make we make restrict in Yumba, ni eh? As as we go na freedom, na pata kampenzi. The first time you get a heartbreak, eh? without realizing it, you end up coming in. Now, the first thing I would do is solve the first problem that affected you. You know, na we solve funguka. It isn't that the problem shared is a problem solved. So as as I would do funguka, 
umeingia mahali pengine na unaingia mwili mzima pa <laughs> kabisa sasa uki, hapo sasa ndipo unaanza kujikuta te, tena mi naona tu kama wanafunzi kama student kama comrades it's the first thing to anza kufunguka if i get a problem cecilia here is my friend ni muambie this what is affecting me and then from cecilia ataniambia something and from there i will benefit i go and share with kabue chris Ken, from there at least to answer solve my problem pole pole okay. shinda si wana zazi kwa sababu hata nikiambia okay. mzazi mzazi kama kuna wazazi wajai kuja university hawajui what's happening there si ndio i get you i get you sasa yes. hata mzazi wangu wajai date alipata tu ameolewa hapo kwenye next na nini you know sasa wewe unamwambia zitui nini nini ajui mm. completely ajui ana kitu ana idea so i think as as comrades the first thing is to open up and that one will okay, solve okay. so so maybe i have a question for uh, selifa uh, you, you are talking about the parents so will it be good if your mother or your father tells you that uh, cecilia uh, why don't you bring somebody home maybe you may know himora will the parent doing something good kwa <laughs> unaona hakuna shida unaona akikwambia kwamba ulete mtu wako nyumbani sio ni shida hapo at least atakuwa anafunguka sana nataka kumwambia kweli kama uko katika uhusiano ama haupo kama haupo tawambia mimi sina mchumba hivyo na kama hauna unaambia hauna eh unaambia mimi sina lakini shida ni nini shida the african parents tangu vile wakitu tukiwa wadogo they always believe that kuongelea vitu vingine na watoto yeah. ni kama kuharibu akili mm-hmm. so naona so hai, hakuna vile atakwambia endo nilete mtu wako ni kama atakuwa amekutuma endo utafute mtu yeah. umlete how should that the point mm. the moment tunasema chris at wazazi watuambie tulete that is not the african way sasa mm. wewe sasa umetoka from african continent umeenda europe unaona sasa wewe mzazi aniambie nimlete demu yangu hapo sasa atakuwa from an african parent ameenda sasa asia unaona it is not possible it's what needs to be done. Yeah. It is what needs to be done, but, but not by an African yeah. mom. It's not true. No, it's not shida ni. Time time haijafika ya ya hiyo mambo bado hatujafikia hicho kiwango. Kwanza you are not that free eh. Hiyo sasa ndio shida yenye iko na wazazi wetu. Okay. Okay. And I think personally that's why university students tend to stop opening up to your parents. Which is very important. Unajua hata kama your parent is not is such in an is lives in such an African context and is so stereotypical as it, at some point it's your duty as a child to also open up your parents as in talk to your parents it's not a bad thing it's not like if i go to my mom and i tell her mom by the way i met this guy and i think he is worth dating or if he is worth something you see your parents will see as if how fitchy okay. but you at least try open up about it ebu jaribu hiyo kwetu utapigwa kama mbwa ameingia msikitini you know you know kama mbwa ameingia msikitini utapigwa vibaya sana in fact we are going to introduce our baby kuache itakuaje unaanza kazi baby steps we will introduce rafiki yangu the more as in you take baby steps see at unaenda tu yote unangusha yote mara pa pa mimi naona tu mimi ndio ncha campaign naona tu kuwa na campaign ya ku okay maybe i may have I may have one question. Yeah. Okay. We have the boy child and girl child. Yeah. We find that it is very easy for a boy child to take a lady a uh, lady home yeah. in the parents yeah. yeah. Now, uh, but it becomes difficult for the girl child maybe to take somebody home before the parents. Yeah. So, okay. What may you what what are you having maybe to advise the parents to support the girl child maybe if it is possible they can also be free to take somebody home maybe to solve this thing. You know what I think at some point inalingananga vile umelelewa ume kwa closeness na mamako. There was once this lady who said that his her daughter ako kampo. And this girl when she first got, got her first letter she was in class 7 na alienda kambia mamake so the mom invited the guy for a drink so the girl was like mbona mamake me invite mbona meniambia nikuje tukunye na hiyo so the boy was like anatetemeka kishanga eh mbona so the mom was saying you'll get at broken as my kid i'll cover your nakedness as your mom cuz admi kama mako si is it can you net unatetwa na watu huko nje you umekuwa quite broken but then you get at broken you go get drunk maybe you go for that one night stand or maybe even upate hadi umefanya tu zenyewe mwenye utakuja ku regret hiyo kitu itakuwa affect wewe mwenyewe cuz maybe hadi utakuwa unafika point una guys they see they don't even so cool like i take it any one but once you tell your mom or your father it will be easier for him or her to con- to confide in him or her um to atafichia siri yako 
more than Viloteno post social media. He left me, she left me. I think it's pure Ulingana na ile closeness na ile relationship yenye mko na yeye, mko nayo wewe na mama kwa mbubu bako. Mimi naona the first thing to fund a campaign. <laughs> we have to sensitize now as as that everything is changing. Things are changing. Tumetoka hiyo kitambo sasa. Unajua everything starts with the preparedness of the mind. You agree that, eh? Yeah. You know, as a scholar, that everything starts with the preparedness of the mind. Let our parents get prepared. Everything now in the media. Me the two watch a yand ye manene ya zamani zamani ivi. Tutu liye yo manene ya zamani sasa to bring a new era now. A revolution now. We youth, we bring a revolution. Whereby everybody, parent, atakua ready to skiza mtoto, na mtoto atakua free to open to the parent. Yeah. So babu sasa... Mi nyumbani kwetu sasa nipeleke mtu njamini. But you know Nick in Kenya we have diverse cultures. Yeah. yeah. Now you have to forget those things now. We bring in a new era that uh, kila mtu itakuwa free. On a fair background now. But, but start I, from there. But I also think uh, the problem is not even opening up. The problem is uh, mapenzi ya squeeze ya kwaji. I don't think squeeze what wanna date for. Like they are not serious. Yeah, especially in Japan. They are not serious. So how can I go on you patane na mchana hapo next uh, week ama next month ama next year na mpeleka kwa mzazi wangu? Ha? Alafu situi kama ako serious. Hello, most university students who talk or rush into relationships uh, yeah. without even knowing what you want out of that yeah. relationship. Because mtakimia mwenge relationship a month down the line ndo tusha achari. So what, another month down the line, my child. Mm. So what can uh, I, maybe I want to be in a relationship with a lady, mm. what can I do, okay, how, what must I do to that uh, I know that uh, maybe what she wants is maybe what me also I want in that relationship, or for us to be serious in that relationship, what can we do to make ourselves I'd serious? I advise you first, you see rush words, and yeah. then I can be Mm. Mm. Like, the same way to and I'll get to know characteristics about you that may make me think, ah, no, you're not worth dating material. Yes, you're worth dating material. Now that's where it starts. It's one step at a time. See, it's now kutana na wello, and then the next thing we're already dating. Now I don't think that's the case. But still, school demand, apa university demand iko high. You can watch it. Now by the way, still you can appoint. You can appoint. Still you can appoint. Kuna kitu na jali buku sema that. Uja yona. Kabla ujapata mtu mkuwa friends mm. Haki hiyo relationship na kuanga mtu so, Haki uh, very open Hata mtu Hata mtu hakisikia kutema mata na kwamia Haki hata nitumi <laughs> tuma mata Haki hata nitumi tuma mata Haki hata nitumi Lakini Mukiingia tu muanza kudeti Munaanza kuwezetana Munaanza kufijana maneno Siju huko huko After one week Ndiyo hiyo kiarufi ya kondo Kiarufi ya kondo inaanza kuingia Ili tukue na mausi ya nomema, kwanza msome mchumba wake, mjue vizuri. Utue, utue mila zake, jua tamatuli zake, jua tabia zake. Kwa jabu, utaenda kutafuta mingine, mibu kupate mingine, after one week, meanza kuwana nini nini. Bade ukuze ukujua, mibi hata imani nye ukonayo, siye nye akonayo. Bade muanze kukosana. Sasa ukisema hui leo na mchukua, unampeleka kwa mzazi wako, mwamba ya kapuaji. Which is true by the way, and to add on to that, relationships is enye. You know why most people tend to rush into relationships, and which I think is one of the reasons why the highest rate of abortions takes place in <coughs> university because yeah. you rush into relationships without knowing what you want you end up doing you end up in a toxic relationship and then end up getting pregnant which you're not ready for and then you end up taking getting abortions Abortion. which ends up messing you up in the first place you see mm. so it's a whole diverse thing that you actually really need to be keen in before you divulge into this there's an emerging issue in this matter of relationship mm. there's this issue of the sponsors mm. and the sponsorates yeah now what can you tell us about this mm. i think uh sponsors uh i think that's a, that's a, that's a very basic it's a very interesting <laughs> issue by the way <laughs> but uh uh, ni wazazi tena nitarudi kwa wazazi wazazi wa waelekezo wa, wanafunzi wao kwanza pia wawape pesa kwa sababu unaachilia msichana wako anakuja chuoni hana 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 nguo za kubalia hana chakula cha kukula ataenda wapi sasa nikuulize wewe tumefanyia tumefanyia stesi ya rambea kuja hapa mimi kama mzazi nitaweza kumnunulia vitu vingine wakati mwingine wacha tu stesi ya kuwa responsible some of us here tunasoma na bursary si ndio some of the student in mzazi uko na one parent hata labda hata kuna hawana si ndio tu wanaka na maybe na uncles unajua when you are in a different family hauwezi kuwa satisfied like in your own family si ndio so 
Yeah. Uh, pesa. It is, some, in some instances it's not possible, isn't it? Wacha mi naona tu, hiyo mambo ya sponsor. Wacha tu mutu wakue responsible mwenyewe na kue focused of what he or she wants in life. Wacha na mambo na pesa. Rizu kwa nini kuwapo kwa wazazi? Kwa sababu hawa wazazi, your two sponsors. Mm. <laughs> ni wawo, <laughs> wawo, 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 That is the bottom but line. Again, they be uh, responsible. But also for us as students, because we are in a girl's context. Yeah. Uh, most of the time, we are in a girl's context. all of finances, because I think most of people who tend to use sponsors tend to use it for the wrong person. Either you want a new phone, either you want to dress up in the latest clothes, or you want to do what, what that's lit in the market, which is wrong. Because <coughs> we're in a season where I don't have a job, I am studying. I am I am either living on my parents' allowances, I'm not taking my help, I'm not taking my donia branch, you see. Not but not at not. the end of the day, Kenya living letter shule you see. So if I lose if I lose that focus and tend to give in into the peer pressure that she talked about, happened to San India after sponsor. Don't you have a support Kenya Nataka. See Kenya because I'm definitely sure even though your parents can't support you, the same reason kwa nini shule upiana kuna personal loan ya shule. <coughs> same time kuna help which is not restricted. And personally if you survive and you can survive on that little money that you get. Now plus at a mess doesn't the food is not that expensive. And you can live on that. So just as in kujinyima Mutu wakwe satisfied, eh? When you talk about when you talk about sponsorship, do you also include the fact that umengia class like flani ameona kaminji minji kamengia and then you're there? Maybe that wewe wewe una jo when you okay let's not say when you danda let's say wewe unaona enye hii price mark ya 40 kuna vile tuna venye naona tu siwezi fika and then this lecturer ako hapo tu anakwambia yeah give in to me and then hizo marks tu hapa tatuka a are you still are you also including the sponsorship thing yeah, in this yeah. whole issue of higher grades yeah. Yeah. yeah because sponsorship is not all about money mm-hmm. it's the benefits you get from the other person mm-hmm. so if max max kama max so much on benefit lakini we can all agree that the bottom line is this let us all be satisfied and be humble in our the comrades ndio kwa sababu and as an african uh, student or a person ndio or an individual to be satisfied with what we have to be very humble and then the rest things will fall because it is through being unsatisfied you some things financially dina kulin to that sponsor you know so if i do something kuta. maybe we can give self a uh, yeah i mean liko nataka kubaliana na point ya stacy penye amesema kwamba hii mm-hmm. issue na sponsor inaletwa na shinikizo la marika pale ambapo utaona mwenzako ana anangara yani unapata hiyo competition unaona mm-hmm. ah na mimi niko hivi yani nguo zangu azipendezi maybe unaona na Jordan nywele yangu nimekaa sana na so unapata unaanza kuzoea anapata aje pesa anangara ndio mbona anangara hivi na mimi singari sasa utampata ameenda ku ku, ku, ku anaulizia ulizia na anajua kwamba kuna sponsor pia anaenda kujitafutia ndipo afanane na wenzake vile wenzake wanafanana kama ni go to new uniform university tuongezea hapo kwa seli kwa seli ah tena pia pressure na rudi yeah mm-hmm. kwa sababu gani I share a room with three ladies, sindio? Mm-hmm. Then sasa closet yangu iko empty. Haina <laughs> kitu, sindio? Hata chakula kuna. Hamna snacks, hamna kitu. Such that naweza enda lunch bila. Wewe ndio unaweka rag ya room, sindio? <laughs> so nakuta, okay, the people I'm working with wako better off than me. So naanza kuchungulia nini na happen then au pia wana kuconvince na kwambia sisi wote tutakufa either udet sponsor udet after all you'll be heartbroken kile kile hapa you need to get one and they have a very nice way of we we live once eh ongezea hapo kuna nyenye watakwambia ati uki 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 ukiingia katika uhusiano na hawa watu ambao mko nao rika moja tukambia hawana pesa so utafuta wale watu ambao wako na magari nini au wako na pesa working class people wako na pesa hapo utakuwa na shida all your bills will be sorted everything wanakuambia use the resources you have <laughs> so get what is available you enter without even knowing cuz inanza gaki dogo cuz you can start by him offering drinks 
Yeah. The next time he'll take you out for dinner. Nothing in return, he'll return you to your hostel. So maybe a bit of one person, person I think that they are more romantic than this yeah. young lady. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe a question. So the habit uh, rings to a question. Right? <laughs> yeah. uh, you find that uh, this issue with your sponsors, as uh, Stacy stated, she talked about maybe you want a phone, mm -hmm. or some class, mm -hmm. you want to be at par with other friends. So, can you connect technology with sponsorship? Mm -hmm. I think I think uh, freedom. I think in university there are a lot of freedom. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. though there is technology, I don't think technology is play a, mm -hmm. a bigger part. But freedom, because I'm going to end up for three weeks. I will be able to Maybe I'm going to be able to mama ya mtu. Mm -hmm. So, freedom, though. I think it's in order to add to his point, yes, there's so much freedom and there's so much time. Yeah. But what are we doing with all that time that we have? Because man, Utapatam two corner classes three days in a week. Yeah. And it's like two classes, three classes at most in one day. So what are you doing all those hours? One, there are clubs in school. There's so much social. There's so much social work that needs to be done around school, and there's so much research work. Exactly. You can just research and write but a book. What people <laughs> tend to do mostly is you end up being uh, idle, and uh, then you end up <coughs> and then end up in other vices that are. Well, well, Africa to take you for okay, your okay, Nick, uh, Nick, uh, <laughs> let me cut you. Maybe okay. We have dwelt so much on that. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe are there any other challenges that uh, maybe you see are facing? Uh, the university students, <coughs> apart from what we have been talking about all through, I think I think uh, there is a drug addiction. Mm. Many university uh, students are into drugs, and uh, people are not noticing this. Mm. I have, in fact, there was a research that was done uh, last year. It shows that uh, 33 percent of students who are universities are drug addicts. You see this. Uh, it is an so enigma, eh? yes, another true. another elephant yeah. in the university. Eh? <laughs> and in fact, uh, what we make one eye than a team, we have learner, we have gone apart. By the way, yeah, yeah. girls were mingi as well. You yeah. know, you know, you know. I think Gabriel are... is here who can explain why. Una je na hapa na je? Okay, wana sema ni ni maboi wa going to drugs, mm -hmm. but it happens that I turn out to narudi ko isho relationship. That I'm, I'm, I have a boyfriend who is a drug addict, and I nataka kumwa peas, nataka kufanya kila kitu ya nataka, so that as he push away, mm. let's say I'm a first year, I'm so desperate, so stuck to be lonely, so now that I have this one boy is a drug addict, says he muacha, ni kimuacha sasa, siju vile kutaenda, then ananipea vitu mimi, says he pata. So now he's taking drugs. I also want to take. To support him, no asione, ni kama nam judge. Mm. You see, so female get into that evil too. Ingine pe ni depression. Unapata, okay, I've been heartbroken so many times. So that's a sin that you can't do. The only thing when I say ma ati kutumia drugs in a sedia, which was stress. So now pata wa medindiza wa manza kutumia drugs. Nini? They don't care anymore. They don't care. Yeah. Alafu nakuta <coughs> most of the girls wenye wanajiingiza kwa drugs mm. unakuta yani siku hizi unagundua uh, wasichana wengi upenda wale ma bad boys. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was a quote that that way that the good girls are for the bad boys. The bad girls are for the good, good boys and the good boys can have themselves. So if you ukip your mentality as that at mimi napenda Bad boy, and mostly na patanga. My bad boy no wale mabu cute. When yeah, every guy will, every chick will die to have that guy. So no na, I na zani muache, and he's that guy mo yekilam tu an attacka, and then I'm there like do you want to meet drugs? I have to use them though, pay me nifiti. So do you want to mean all that some uh, boys are bad boys? No, 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 I know, I don't. It's like okay, the okay. highest okay. percentage. Let me say that uh, nature states you or puts you into that man so that you can change him. So when you go there. Try your best to change the man. Okay, if possible. Okay, there's this uh, a musician we call uh, the Burning Spear. Mm -hmm. I hope all of you are conversant <laughs> with Burning, Burning Spear. Spear. Yeah. Burning Spear once said in his song, one of his songs, mm -hmm. that uh, bad boys and bad girls go everywhere, mm -hmm. but good boys and go good, good girls, girls go to heaven. So, how can such uh, uh, a statement maybe uh, impact on the youth? Uh, uh, can we now say that maybe some of the musicians are since are making some statements that maybe uh, may influence uh, <coughs> our youths or uh, uh, to do something that maybe may take them out of their way? I think the drug 
being, a, being one of the things that I said is an elephant in the university, uh, I think some of the habits, uh, by the way, some of them we get to start from the high school. You get so many high schools are uh, involved in that. In Anaukikuja University, you carry, you carry with you that habit. Yeah. Most of them, I, if, uh, if they can uh, confess, they started the habit from high school. So, Ikikuja hapa, zasa, do another ku interlink. To our next topic, maybe Makoit we can introduce our next topic. The conflict uh, with the roommates is another big challenge facing the university students, especially those residing outside the school hostels. Unakuta yani, for example, sana sana utokana kusabu mambo na finance, ama mungine akwa relationship, analeta dem pale kama ni maboy, akileta dem pale, inabidi muenzake atoke. Mm -hmm. So unakuta muenzake afil poa, unakuta wanakosana kwa room. I love my money. Your financial nakuta. For example, my dad maybe anafanya kazi anapata nini salary yake det twenty. The other one maybe anapata det thirty. So nakuta maybe gas imesha boka tikati. Inakuwa ngumu maybe kuri feel nakuta niwe mnyo na struggle ama yeye mwenzako alafu nakuta na anzisha conflict ndogo ndogo tu. Personally, I think for such issues in a public communication, because. Even for me, like in first year, we used to stay in a hostel for with four chicks. Yeah. Um, Utapata, we all come from different backgrounds <coughs> and all, have all been brought up different. So the way I act and the way my roommates act are totally different. So trust you me, definitely conflicts will always come in. But in Akwaga, a matter of you communicating and getting to know each other and also being accommodative of other people's values and you know. I think uh, you must live with conflict. You can't live, you can't avoid conflict. So. Uh, I don't think that's a big issue we can discuss here, but again we need communication as uh, Stacey have said. We need communication, let us talk with each other so that maybe we, we can avoid those. Uh, but you uh, cannot say that it's, a not, it's, a, it's not a big issue mm -hmm. because you find that conflict, come on, we have a conflict with your roommate, with your class you cannot concentrate. Utakuta maybe unaka unafikiria so leo ni kienda ama unafikiria kwa nyumba muangeleshani. But I, I think if you, are, if, you are, if you are having conflict because of these petty petty issues like feeling gas seriously. Are you an adult? Mambo ingine tunajuekelea tu ambayo haya tusaidi. So mambo ingine tunafaka kufanya ni tuwa siriani. Ni tuwa sina pesa. Nambia rafiki yangu sina pesa hapa. Sindo? Alafu sasa kama tutakiko sana tunaongea tuna. Tuna, tuna, tuna leta, tuna suru hiyo jamu lafu, tuna, tuna, tuna pati, tuna ilewana. Okay, uh, Ken, mm -hmm. you find that, okay, we have two different types of people. You have the extrovert and the introvert. You find that uh, maybe somebody is not willing to open up. Kuna wale wenye wako uru sana kuongea. Na kuambia uh, Rafiki, mimi, niko na shida, na mpaka sahi bado siwezi, uh, siwezi sema tutasaidiana maybe kulipa rent sahi, maybe uchukwe hii month, next month, nitaona vinyi tutafanya, unana. So, uh, now, this, peop, this group of people who are not willing to talk, how can you help them maybe so that they stay? I yeah. think I think uh, in a university we are taught communication skills. <laughs> That's the right we are taught how to communicate with each other. Na kama ni rafiki yangu ambayo uliamua kukaa naye kuishi na yeye, mbona msiongee? True. Na tena unajua kwa nini ulimchagua? Mm. Kama mtu ni introvert na ulimchagua weka na extrovert, mm. unajua venye mtaishi. But the change is inevitable. Unakuta ali change tu mara moja tu. So so uh, Nick do yeah. you mean that, uh, okay, before I stay with somebody, yeah. um, unajua tunaanzea ku stay hostel, mm -hmm. kabla tutoke enje. So kabla nitoke enje, tuwe ntuishi na wewe, uh, should I have known you much? Uh, because first, unapata, wengine wanaishi, kuna yule mumuishi na ye two semesters mkiwa ndani sindia, mm -hmm. kwa rumu moja. <coughs> At least munajua na ya nina nina. Unapata mwingine hame eh, toa mtu kutoka kungine, wanaenda wanaishi, unawana, hawa kuhishi wakua first year. Mm -hmm. So, uh, must I have known my partner? That Alia. becomes the first thing. Mm -hmm. That is the first thing choosing a partner. Kwa kukana, yeye, either inje, uko inje mnenda kufishi, outside the hostel. Sasawa, mm -hmm. that's why it is said that uh, even in marriage, you have yeah. to date for two to three years to stand your partner very well. Sindio, mm -hmm. unajua Chris wezi kukuta ati uko main gate, ati tuwele tukakaya kama moja. It is not possible. First of all, lazima nijue what you like. Mm -hmm. What you don't like? What do you eat? What yeah. I don't eat? No, so that we can read it. Kuna mutu wakulangi mayai, sasa nikipika mayai, na mi napenda, itakuwaje. So first of all, lazima nijue who is Chris. 
though Sasa to help them with it. The first thing is that, come when introvert, I know how to deal with you as an extrovert. Sasa wa. So the first thing let us stand up your movement when you go there. Hey, that the thing that they can say. Okay, okay. When you are so you part, you may be standing at when you are nice. Let's talk of us who are inside here. Those who are inside. Yeah, yeah. My next time, Jim, two, number. That's your room. Okay. That's those are your roommates. Kapo. Then Sasa, I want to have a talk from different places. You don't know them. Climb to a kunabila medelewa. Then so we are talking about the manager. He should turn the dog at him to a jealous room. Amechukua kijiko wangu kwa plate yangu akaeka kwake ama amechukua hii akapeleka you see sasa wengine hatujazoea hiyo tumezoea hii kitu inakaa hapa inakaa hapa kama ni yangu ni yangu eh yeah. e, si yangu na wewe ni yangu that's why that's why <laughs> nikianzia nilisema <laughs> we are adults as university students we are adults we are past 18 years so you know how to communicate kama ni mambo ya kuosha kama hajaosha osha Yes by the way it's not a big deal kwani yeah. kusafisha it becomes a habit yeah. mm. let me tell you with humans beings no nothing nitasema ah najua ni sipo ni sipo ifanya atafanya no inakuwa habit okay let me say let me say this Chris before we move on as a as a as a hiyo mnakaa hapo hostel roommate first of all uh, sisi tukiingia huko tulifanya kamkunje yetu kama watu wane uh, tukafanya tukasema this is the roster yenye tutafuata kwa kuosha siku ya Jumatatu ni yangu Jumaine ni yako Jumatano ni yako tukazigawanya vizuri sana alafu sisi kama wanaume tukasema kitu ya kukula ni yangu peke yangu peke yangu nikisikia nikupe <laughs> nikisikia nikupe nitakupatia lazawa so nikiwa nayo ni mimi nitakupatia kitu ya huko lakini hizo vitu zingine kila mtu akue na ya na yake Then fanyeni ka meeting tu pole pole. Mkiona mtu amekosa fanyeni ka meeting, si ndio? Mwambie this is not right. You are adult by the way. This is unajua by the hii habit yenu unaona nchi yetu inaanzanga hapa university. Mm-hmm. Si ndio? Mm-hmm. If you can't change the university then hiyo mtu atatoka huko nje aendelee mm-hmm. kufanya those things and they will affect our nation. Mm-hmm. Tuanze hapa ndani. If hajafanya Tumwambie ni sisi kama wanaume yeah. ama kama ladies tusikiza neni, si ndio? Okay, okay. Yes. Okay then uh, maybe I may ask anybody can answer yeah mm-hmm. uh, you find that there are these people they are there in the room or they want to, now they want to go out and stay out unasikia mtu anasema ah mimi ni mjaluo siwezi ishi na mtu anatoka meru unaona mimi nataka niishi na mjaluo unaona okay kuna hiyo mambo na tribal inaingia unaona <coughs> tribal issue inaingia so that is also okay it is some conflict there or you find that uh, mimi ni mjaluo nimeishi na mkisi then ina ina una, unakuta baada tupatani vizuri ju, we are from different uh, backgrounds na pia unajua kila tribe kuna culture zake so how can we solve this situation where there is a quarrel between a kisi and a luo living together <laughs> I, I, actually bringing in yeah, as well. on, uh, let me respond this way uh, in the university for the time i have stayed uh, there's a little hata siju watu wanatokanga nje nchi huko kufanya sidi nationally tribalism inatokanga watu but i think inakuanga political unaona hapa university no one matters about the tribe inakujanga wakati maybe ni imesikia ukiongea na ni salamu peke yake hata mkiniona mimi amuniongei sana unaona but hapa university mambo ya tribe ikuangi inakuanga tu wakati wa elections peke yake wakati wa politics ya institution peke yake lakini we can there is a way we can deal with it eh? when when ni mkisi uh, when ni mkisi na mimi ni, ni meru ama mjaka si ndio unajua kitu kitu ya maana as we say ni communication si ndio kama Chris we uwezi kaa na mtu akutaka wa makonde kama uwezi kaa na mkonde ama msukuma tafuta mtu ambaye ya profit kwako si ndio kama kama uwezi kaa na msukuma tafuta mkonde kama utakaa na mkonde tafuta mteso kama utakaa na mteso tafuta mtu akutaka mluya mluya ama msomali uh, mara moja so uh, maybe self uh, you may add a point on that mimi naona mambo na hii issue na migogoro watu wakiishi ndani na nje sio ni shida na lingana tuna vile mme mmekubaliana eh so kama umekubaliana mgogoro kwa kuna wale watu kwa sababu nacho nilikuwa nataka kusema hivi kuna mgogoro itatokea pale kama kitu ambacho mimi nimeona na chenye 
niko nacho na uhakikani kitu kama uvivu kuna watu wale unaweza kana mtu mvivu ambapo wewe ndio utakukifanya tu kazi na yeye amekaa pale hataki kufanya kazi lakini atangoja kula unaona okay, kuna wengine ni wavivu kweli na kuna wengine pia lakini ukimwongelesha anaweza kufanya kazi eh hey. by the way there are some kuna kitu na kuanga background change kuna unakumbuka ile roommate yetu mwenye tulikuwa na yeye hakuwa anapenda kufanya usafisha ama kufua wakati mwingine alikuwa very lazy lakini tukaongea na yeye pole pole na alibandilika unaona wakati mwingine you as a friend hata ukiingia hapo inakuanga you say as christian it is god doing so that you may influence stacy hatoke from this reasons na je ndio ipendi watu lazy ninasema some of the influence ndio mtu a change christopher okay about tribalism i think uh, in kenya we don't have tribalism ni mimi imekuwa ikijaribu ku create tri- tribalism yeah. inaileta kama ni kitu kubwa okay. sasa kama wewe yeah. unauliza yeah. mambo ya tribalism ni basi mimi nimekuwa nikiishi na watu wenye siwa kutoka kabila langu ni mm. fact is i difference kwanza hata unafurahia kusoma yeah. kusema so, nango kusema zitu wanaelewa mkata yani wa mkata mugeni unafurahia tu kusoma you you first be a kenya yeah. and then your tribe will come to say. later so, so, university la kuna bila tribalism hakuna kwa university take it outside there <laughs> malize tribalism pale hivi sawa sawa maybe uh, next point uh, maybe another issue that may be a challenge to the university students yes selifa yeah tatizo lingine ni wale wanafunza ambao wanafanya kazi na wakati huo huo pia wanafaa wasome inakuwa tatizo ambapo ku kunini ku kunini ku, ku attend classes inakuwa ni shida inafaa some at the same time inafaa ate nini aingie kwenye kama ni maybe ni biashara ama ameandikwa ama kuna wale wenye wanafanya kazi usiku unaona mm-hmm. unaweza fanya kazi usiku na ifike maybe muda wako inafika saa 12 asubuhi na uko na darasa la darasa moja mm-hmm. nina hiyo ni shida ambapo hata aweza kuingia kwenye darasa na hata akiingia kwa hilo darasa hata concentrate akili yake itakuwa imechoka amechoka ametoka kwenye kazi unaona hiyo pia ita affect the results mtu wa nini akiingia kwa exam hata you not mingi hajaandika haja concentrate in class ha, maybe hata haja attend class nini wiki mm, zikifata vile zinafatana haja attend ako na notes zimepile ajui ataanzia api kusoma ajui ata yani uh, ata ata, ata, ata fix aje hizi times zenye zime yenye amepoteza ajui ata fix aje unaona hiyo pia ni tatizo ambalo na nini na nafanya hawa university students eh watakuwa na shida kubwa na hiyo shida inaletwa ambapo wanafunzi hawana pesa okay. ya ya kimo mahitaji yao sawa wanatafuta huko nje ndio wapate chakula wapate school fees yeah. mm. I don't think it's like a problem but it depends if you overdo it then it can turn yeah. out to be a problem because mm. actually me wana watu wenye ufanya job actually me I envy them at times because naona gani kwa they are putting their time into into which is it turns out to be very productive because i have friends who Yes, to go to classes during the day and then when they're night shift back at midnight and then from midnight they sleep because classes start <coughs> in morning yeah. most classes you see mm-hmm. so actually sometimes it's important because at least they're able to provide for themselves and also keep up for them some of the expenses some of the expenses but also at some time it's also a disadvantage because na join kono best personally when you say you work for second year and was supposed to be graduating with them because they concentrated more on work and left out Yes, but I think in a, it depends with the type of work. Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa nilikuwa na roommate tukiwa first year. Mm-hmm. Sasa alikuwa akifanya night shift. Ulikuwa unakuta hiyo night shift anafanya hakuna teacher hakuna time ya kulala midnight. Nakuta alikuwa na work from from 9 mm-hmm. to 5 5 5 uh, am in the morning. Mm-hmm. So unakuta alikuwa kuja class ako so sleepy, haizi concentrate kwa class. So it depends okay, with the okay. type of work. So, so Ken, yes. Do you think uh, every work It will be good for a university student. In fact, we got that greater issue. In university we have help. We have rooms, we have bursaries. Why are you working? You are not comfortable. Stop working. And <laughs> that is that is that no. But babu sana. No, you have said you have said that those those students who are working are one pesa. Seriously talking, help in a kupea 40,000. Na obvious serikali me regulate pesa za zenye watu wanalipa fees. No. So kama maisha yenye wewe utaweza kukaa yenye atakukimu na hizo pesa zenye uko nazo. Mm. Wacha kwenda kufanya kazi mm. kama unaona huwezi huwezi concentrate na mambo ya class. And of course maybe you can, if you okay, can able to arrange your class as well. Can. Unaweza fa- enda kufanya kazi. Ken first of all you find that uh, not everybody gets that 40,000. Yeah. Mm. yeah. 
there are even those who applied mm -hmm. but uh <laughs> I'm a mutu and apply no. 40,000 and apata 15 eh? yes so, so you know, it's a problem to pay fee well I'm, I'm on a kuta that 40,000 yeah. and I suppose I pay fee no upkeeps and rent the rent but no. it's basal is by the, okay no, not all of us are getting bursaries you mm. well you have to keep apply kwa is there kwa through the din ways pata kuna wengine watakosa lakini what are some of the work uh, maybe kazi ni uta uta imiza mwanafunzi wa university maybe afanye na zingine zenye asifanye okay to give an example chris is that uh, we have uh, the the developed countries uh, university uh, comrades working syndrome mm. first of all me i don't blame any student i blame the economy and the people of kenya kwa sababu a Kenyan citizen is very selfish such that ile kazi nafaa kufanywa uh, with the shift anataka a comrade aendelee kabisa until 5 hataki kumpatia leave ndio another student and because he or she doesn't want to spend on a comrade of thank you thank you thank you thank you so maybe in conclusion every guest can state on what you think can be recommended about the whole topic we start with you mainge Okay, what I can recommend is that let every comrade know that and experience the existence of spro, uh, superior or superiority being the supreme good being which is gone and nothing else. From there, we solve our problem. Mimi ningependa kumalizia kwa kusema kwamba sisi kama wanafunzi wa vyo vikuu wacha tujikubali na tutosheke na kila ambacho tuko nacho na tukumbuke yale ambayo yalituleta hapa shuleni. To me I think most of the challenges here in university are caused by money any yani financial problems so if it could be better if the university can come up with the financial managerial skills to equip the students yeah so as i conclude i would actually urge all us as university students to actually take into consideration all the services that universities provide and also at the same time don't miss out on having fun but also at the same time also focus on your studies. Okay, there is a saying that says that uh, experience is the best teacher but I say experience, uh, uh, this life is too short for us to run through our own mistakes. So as Ken Wadirango, uh, you comrades do what is right. So to all comrades around Kenya, think critically when solving your problems and you'll be good to go. Uh, okay, uh, you've had the discussion, uh, now what is up to you is to make decision, we only advise, we cannot make for you decision, so decide for yourself what is right for you as a student, you know your background, you know where you came from, you know those who want something good from you, don't disappoint them as a student. Uh, so as to finish, I will just tell you or urge you that uh, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Mara Eye, so that you may get more stories that are yet to come. We love you all and this was Masai Mara University Talk Show. I'm your host Christopher Diambo. Thank you. Bye bye.